doing? Um, thanks for watching. Today we're going to go ahead and show you how to clean the throttle body on a General Motors 3400 uh, transverse mounted V6. This works on all these models, 3100s, 3400s, 2800s, they even work on some four cylinders. If you notice, um, we're using the old fashioned cable system over here, which is basically a cable that's just attached directly to your, to your uh, gas pedal, so it's not a drive-by wire, so there's no electronics involved or anything. We're just going to go ahead and clean the throttle body out. It's actually a pretty simple procedure here. And uh, again, it's not a drive-by wire system like some of the newer ones have. This is all, this car is a 2002, so the electronics are not as high-tech as a lot of the newer ones. So it's really pretty easy to do this. The main thing you do is you're just pulling off the housing here. I can get to it with the screwdriver. And then this is your PCV valve. You pull that off of there get that out of the way and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this assembly off we're going to spray some throttle body cleaner in there wipe it up and then see how it looks you can do it with the car on or the car off in this case I'm actually going to go back into the car and turn it off because sometimes when you take this off the uh, mass airflow sensor or the uh, idle air intake uh, temperature sensor will go ahead and get a reading because it's not hooked up properly so I'm going to just go ahead and turn this off real quick Now the car is off, so now that we won't have to worry about getting any kind of sensor readings or anything like that. And again, just loosen up your hose clamp, get that off. It is tricky sometimes to get this off. Sometimes you have to pull it off of here too. I'm hoping that we don't have to do that today. We just, just get this off the throttle body. It'll be the easier way to do things. Okay, so now we have it off the throttle body, and if we pull it back, yeah, can you look over here, bring the camera over here and look, you can look inside the throttle body, it's not too dirty, and actually what I am going to do is, yeah, I am going to go ahead and pull it off of the mass airflow sensor, because that is going to make it a little bit easier for you guys. I've done it before this way. Um, it, it is a little bit trickier, but if you take it off the mass airflow as well, um, probably be a little bit easier just to get this whole uh, entire piece out of here. So we go ahead there. We got to pull this. This is basically a little holder for the two cables because one cable here is for the cruise control. The other one is for the actual throttle body control. Again, this is not a drive-by wire system, so you don't have all those electronics in there. So if we can just get this off within the confines of not having to take everything apart, that would be great. And let's see, what else we got? Okay, shine back here, we have the IAT. This is basically the air intake temperature sensor here. We're going to pop that off. This right here is your mass airflow sensor. You don't have to pop that off at all. And around here, this is your throttle position sensor uh, for these cars as well, too. But we're not dealing, doing anything with that. It's obviously your EGR over here. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get this off of here in its entirety. And then once we get this off, it'll make it a lot easier for you guys to see inside the throttle body. So here we go. All right, that should be good. So shine the camera in there, and you can see the throttle body itself. It's not too dirty. It's not too gummed up. Just a little bit of gunk here. I generally have a tendency to maintain my cars pretty well. But if we go ahead and we go here and we pull the throttle body back, you can get inside there and look and see if there's any light, anything in. Can you see anything in there from this side? Yeah, see, it is pretty clean. But you can still see a little bit of residue there. So there's one or two ways you can do things. You can either go ahead and do one or two things you can do. You can go ahead and spray it and wipe it with a rag, or you can just go ahead and spray some stuff in there, which is what we're going to do right now. We're just going to go ahead and open this up, spray some in there, and see how it runs through. Alright folks, what we do is we pull the throttle body back. Again, 
This is not a drive-by wire system, so you can do this. You don't have to worry about any relearning or anything. You just go ahead in here, and you spray it in here, get in the front, get in the top. Again, if you were to take this completely off, you'd have a little more room, a little easier to work. In my case, I'm not going to do that because my throttle body is pretty clean. This is not the first time I've cleaned this car. You just spray a little bit in here. You can see the gunk kind of coming out a little bit. Basically cleaning the front of the throttle body. As I'm opening up here, you're going to clean the top and the back and the sides of it all. It's going to look pretty good. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a paper towel and just kind of wipe some of that up. You don't want to soak up too much of you don't want to soak up too much of this throttle body spray as it goes into your engine um, if you do and you start it up the engine's going to be expecting gas and it's going to get a lot of the throttle body and what you're liable to do is you're liable to get a random misfire because one of the cylinders is going to get the throttle body cleaner into it instead of gas and it's not going to fire properly and it'll stumble a little bit and then you'll get a code it won't affect the engine it won't damage the spark plugs assuming you don't do it this too often but i'm going to go ahead and get a little rag and just clean it up anyway just to make sure and then we'll put it back together. All right folks, so we got the uh, show it to me. So here we go. So folks, paper towel real quick. Go here, open the throttle body. Just get in here. Clean it up. Get your fingers in there. Again, like I said, this is kind of in the way. If you were to take that off, it would make things a little bit easier. I'm not going to do that because I've already taken this throttle body off many times, and my throttle body really isn't that dirty. Um, as you can see, it actually comes out pretty clean. So we're looking pretty good down there. So that's the tray. That's the clean. And the matter of just putting it all back together. It's usually a pretty tight fit in here, which is good. Okay, there we go. That's on there. So you got the one on the throttle body. You plug your PCV back in. You plug your idle air, idle temperature AIT, air intake temperature sensor back in. That's very important. If you leave this sensor off of here, the car will not know uh, the temperature that's coming in. It'll idle wrong. And again, and then this right here, this is your throttle position sensor over here, which tells your car where the throttle is. And this one here, I forget exactly which one this one here. It's not the throttle position, but this has a little actuator in here as well, too. And I've replaced and cleaned those many times. And then we go ahead and we take our two cables for the, for the, um, there we go, for the cruise control, as for that. And then this is your mass airflow sensor. He's hooked up right. We didn't really loosen that up. Just go around, look, make sure everything's nice and tight. And then just come around here. Make sure that's tucked in tight. You don't want to have any kind of parts where it's loose. You're losing any air because obviously this is air going into your engine. and You want all the air going into your engine that's possible because the way these cars work is they have a sensor that says how much air is coming in, which is your mass airflow. If the mass airflow sensor says, you know, 600 CFM of air is coming in and you have a leak over here and the engine's only getting 400, uh, there's going to be a problem. The engine's not going to know how to tune itself. And it's going to have to go ahead and lessen the fuel to compensate for less air and less fuel and less air. And a combustion engine is less power. And these engines don't exactly make a ton of power. This particular engine, uh, I think, makes 175 horsepower and 205 pounds of torque. So compared to modern day six cylinders, it's pretty much obsolete. Four cylinders make more than that these days. And then we go ahead here and we tighten up the mass airflow. Make sure that's on nice and tight. You always want to have these back nice and tight again. Like I said, you don't want to have any leaks. I've done this before and had a car stumbling and doing all kinds of weird things and making noise and not making enough power and generating codes. And it's like, what the heck is going on? And it's all simply because I just didn't have it tight enough and there were air leaks coming in. So this should be all cleaned up. We're going to start it. You might notice an initial stumble a little bit because of the throttle body spray. But it shouldn't be too bad. It should go away in a couple of seconds. Start it up and uh, see what I don't know if you guys noticed that, but when I first started up, it stumbled just a little bit. That was just the system burning off the extra uh, throttle body spray, but everything's fine. Um, no engine codes. Believe me, there's no damage to the car. You didn't burn any spark plugs. Everything's fine. And then what I do here at the end, I go like this. You see 
rev it through anything that might still be sitting around the throttle body in the front of the intake. Getting sucked in the engine, it's getting burnt. And the benefit of this is it actually goes through and it actually cleans your fuel system a little bit. It'll clean the, whatever little bit of microscopic particles you have of this will actually go into the combustion chamber and clean that out a little bit too as well. And one thing you have, you'll notice, is if you, one thing you'll notice, if you, one thing you'll notice is you had had a really dirty, thr dirty throttle body, which mine isn't because I maintain my cars. This is probably the third or fourth time I've cleaned it since I've owned this car, which is about four or five years now. So about, about once every year I go ahead and do this. But if you had a car that's eight or ten years old and it's never been done and you open that up, it's going to be black as soot. You're going to have carbon deposits. You're going to have oil. And the throttle body will get stuck sometimes. And that also leads to other codes like throttle position sensor codes. So if you do have a throttle position sensor code, which is usually a P0102, instead of worrying about the throttle position sensor or having to replace the throttle body, go ahead and clean the throttle body, get it nice and clean, and get that all working, and then start it up. And a lot of times that goes ahead and takes care of your air. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is, a, like I said, it's a GM 3400 V6. It works with a 31, it works with a 2800, any GM transverse mounted V6s it works with. On my next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the throttle body on an HHR, which is a GM Echotech 2.2, which is in a lot of cars. That's a little bit different because the throttle body goes down. You don't really want to spray the stuff directly because it winds up going in the engine. But again, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like it, please uh, click below and click subscribe. Thanks.